guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing, um, showing you guys how I do my eyebrows. It's an eyebrow tutorial or whatever. Um, I normally do my brows first and then once I do my brows, I do my eyeshadow, mascara, lashes, and then I do the whole like face, the foundation and all that. So anyway, um, um, I just usually comb my brows up first. I'm going to be using this Morphe brow gel in, uh, well, it's a brow cream in, I think it's pronounced Hava. This is what it looks like. The thing I do is obviously I comb my brow up. You want to comb all the little hairs up. And I hope you guys could hear me too. My boys are watching cartoons in the background, so... So you don't want to use a lot, like you just barely want to like tap it in there, you know? So then what I like to do is I start from the bottom and I kind of outline my brow like where I want it to be. So see, and I know it looks bold right now, but we're going to fix that, okay? So, start doing the top part. As you can see, I already started. I know everybody does their brows different. I'm just showing you how I do my brows, okay? And then you want to do little strokes up and then you want to keep combing and I know I messed up right here but we have concealer to cover up the mess up that you probably are gonna do now that I did this one, we're gonna clean it up. So I'm gonna use, I think it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is the one I'm gonna be using. And I've had this for years, so the number came off already, so I can't even tell you what number it is, but let me get my concealer. Okay, so this is the concealer I'm gonna be using, NARS, and Light to Vanilla, okay? So, with my concealer, and I'm gonna be looking down in my mirror, so, but yeah. So, then I get my little, what's it called? My brush. Use concealer for the top of your brow because you don't want your brows to just pop out. So I like to use my foundation for the top of my brows. Use the same brush, but I kind of like wipe off the foundation, no, not the foundation, the concealer. And then I kind of dab a little bit to where it's like just a little. And then you're going to clean up the top of your brow. So, concealer for the bottom to clean up, and then the top you're gonna use foundation. So, I'm gonna clean up the top.
Okay, so after I do that, I get my little sponge. Then, where is it? I get my clear brow gel. It's the Morphe one I use. And it's just a translucent clear brow gel. So see? And I just comb my brows. This one compared to this one, do you see how my natural brow is like thinner? And I made it like a little bit more thick because I have very thin brows because back in the days I used to make them super thin because that was the style. All right, so I'm gonna just repeat the process on this side. So I comb my brows. And then I get my brow cream and I dip it in here. And then I outlined the bottom first. So see how I like I try like to make it the same and then on top. Obviously it's gonna look a little crooked because my natural brows are very crooked. Not very crooked, but they're kind of like off. They're kind of like like this they're, when they should be straight. But <clears throat> one day, let me just tell you a quick little story. One day, um, I was 18 years old and um, I had never gotten my eyebrows waxed before. So that was like my first time doing it. I went to this uh, this place. It was kind of like a um, what's it called? Like a salon. It was like a nail salon slash waxing like salon type of place. And um, so you want to comb the brows up, okay, guys? So I went there, and you know, um, I thought you know you just explain how you want your you know what will you how you want your brows because they'll say okay how do you want you know, how do you want your brows to look? So, you know, I just explained the way I want them to look, thinking that she's going to do them the way I wanted them, the way I explained to her, but she didn't. So I specifically said, okay, so obviously at the time I had a super bushy brows, I had a unibrow, everything. So she was going to clean it up and make it look cute. So I explained, I was like, okay, so I want them kind of thick in the front, like squared, like exactly how I have them, kind of going thin on the ends, but not too thin, you know, that's exactly how I wanted them. And then clean in the middle, you know? She's like, okay, great, I'll do it just like that. Tell me why she literally didn't do it any, 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 how do you say it? Not even close to what I asked for. She made, first of all, she spaced them out too far where it looked stupid. Like I had a big gap between my, my brows and she made them round and she made them super thin, like, like little, like round circles and then just super thin. And not even like, she didn't even do like, like the whole brow. Like she literally stopped right here and stopped right here. So this is how much brow I had. Like they look like two little happy faces. Like the Ronald McDonald smile. I was like, um, she said, oh, I look good. It look good, huh? I look good. And I was like, no, I don't look good. I was like, this is not what I asked for. I got so mad. Like I, I kept telling her I'm not going to pay. And she's like, you need pay. You need pay me, you know? And I was like, I'm not going to pay you. What the hell, you know? I was like, you didn't do them ex anywhere the way I, I asked you to. And so anyway, I just got mad. I just ended up paying her and I just left and I never went back. And after that, I never let anybody touch my brows. I've always done them myself. But because of that, because my brows now grow in crooked. Yeah, mama. Now with the tire pillar. Oh, the caterpillar? Um, do him green. Caterpillars are usually green. But... Yeah, they're green. I think some are like red and green, but yeah, you could do it green and then you could do that leaf brown. Okay. So, um, where was it? Where was I at? 
oh yeah so basically um so yeah that was the last time i ever went to anybody i do not trust anyone waxing my brows threading them doing anything to them because i specifically explained to her what i wanted done and she didn't do it anyway like at all the way i wanted it done so anyway you're gonna get your concealer and you're gonna do the bottom of your brow just like you did on this side So honestly, that just pissed me off. And I was like, you know what? From this moment on, I'm never going to let anyone touch my brows. I'm going to just do it myself. Because clearly, when you explain to somebody what you want done and they don't do it the way you want, and you still have to pay them, I don't think that that's right. So I was like, hell no. Um, I'm going to just do it myself. So honestly, the way I've been doing them since the age of 18 to now, I am now 32 years old. Yes, I know. Uh, I've been doing them for years myself. I use these little like brow trim. Um, I don't know if they're called brow shapers or what. But this is what they basically look like. So they're kind of dirty with makeup. But basically this is what they look like. Alright, hold on. Let me show you. So they're basically little little shapers. I just kind of like clean around my brows. I do the middle. And then I pluck the bottom. Usually if I'm lazy, I'll just shave the bottom. Usually I get lazy. I also use this for my uh, mustache and a little, like I grow like a little bit of hairs on my chin. Um, yes, I never did before until having kids, but now I grow hair, I mean, anywhere. Like it's disgusting. And then I also clean up the side of like, which I have to do it because they're kind of growing out. The side, but anyway, yeah. Because like I said, I do not trust anybody doing my brows anymore at all because because of that, they've grown in crooked ever since. And I, don't, I can't, I don't know why. But they do not grow in, they're not even. What did I do? On, oh, here it is. Okay, my little sponge, my little mini sponge. This is so cute. I got this in my BoxyCharm, so I forgot where it's from. But yeah, it came in like a pack of like three. So it came in like these three. But yeah, so then, oh, sorry guys, I keep covering my face. And then you done with your eyeball, you do Help me with the hard ones? Yes, I will. Okay. And then, just, you know, you got to clean up underneath. I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to, like, hurry this up. I don't want this video to be too long. So, as you could see, I did the bottom. So, now we're going to go ahead and do the top. So, but obviously, you could tell that they're seriously, like, not, like, even or straight. Go on, grab one. My clear brow gel on my brows. So, like I said, I usually do it like this. And then the next thing I'll do is, like, my eyeshadow, mascara, um, lashes, and then I do my whole face. So, um, I'm going to do my face off the camera because this is only supposed to be for the brows. So that way you guys can kind of see what it looks like all together. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. So, okay, so this is the completed look. So like I said, you're going to always have your off brow days and your good brow days. Just like you have a bad hair day and a good hair day. So today I'm kind of like feeling like today's like, like not a good brow day. But, um... You know, I tried. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will be bringing to you guys more videos. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.